Welcome back, Zeppelin here. We've got a new version of Instant Wire. This time it's much more uh, compact and reliable. So first let me just show you that it is Instant Wire. I've got a switch here that's going through a bunch of repeaters here as you go as you can see and back. And just like in my other Instant Wire video I have the same setup with the note blocks. Um, so you can see that the signal is getting to this block at the same time it goes it around and it's this block because the note blocks come up at the same time and then when I turn it off you can see in these uh, note blocks that it hits the signal at the same, uh, same time. Um, so as you can see these are much more compact. Uh, each one of these repeaters is 5 by 4 by 2, too tall and uh, 5 by 4 on the footprint. And um, and there's also uh, a design for the knot gate, which is almost exactly the same. So why don't I just go ahead and uh, and build this for you? Um, first, I'll lay down some line. Um, so here's where the piston's going to go. There's only one piston in this design, which is great. Um, and so then I'm going to need. Um, some stuff here, I'll explain it in a sec. Uh, this is a sort of knot gate, and uh, this here. So now, let me just finish up most of this real quick. So, this is most of it. This isn't the whole thing. I'll build the whole thing in a sec. Um, first, I just want to show kind of roughly how it works. So. When we have an input, um, it can come from anywhere along this wire. I'll just put it right here because why not? When we have an input, when we turn this on, it's going to expand the piston. When it does that, um, this wire is going to become connected to this one, and so it'll get gain power. Um, for those of you who watched my last video, this won't happen instantly because when the piston expands, it doesn't update the blocks around it immediately. Um, so, and then uh, also, after the piston expands, the repeater going to this block is going to is going to power the wire. So there's, it's going to be getting power from two directions, from both this wire here and from uh, from this repeater here. But shortly after I flick the switch, this repeater will turn on. Uh, it's set to a two tick delay. It's going to turn this torch off. So. When that happens, the only thing powering this wire over here is going to be um, is going to be this repeater here. So we can see that's what happens. Um, the line didn't turn on instantly, and let me let me add some stuff here so we can actually see that the line is or isn't turning on on instantly. Um, so let's try this again. Oops. So when I turn this on, I can just pause. You can see the uh, the left side has um, is uh, two ticks into the the pulse, and the right side is only one tick. So there was a one tick delay between me flicking the switch and the right side turning on, uh, and I will fix that uh, later. But that's what we have for now. And then so now this line is uh, this what this torch is not powering the line, but this repeater is. Okay, so now that means that when I flick the switch back, it's going to retract the piston, and since this is the only thing powering the line, the piston, um, just like in normal instant wire, will depower the line. So we actually will have an instant effect on this side. Uh, whoops. Uh, so when I flick the switch, you can see uh, it's four ticks into the line on both sides. So the last thing that you need to do to make this uh, instant on both edges uh, is I'm just going to add a wire here and here and a block above it. So now I didn't modify any of this stuff in the circuit or, or this. The only thing I modified was now there's a line going into here. And this is, uh, this is something I've never seen before. The point of this line going into this block is to cause this wire to update. So the way that works is normally when you expand the piston, um, this wire wouldn't get connected to this wire until after a tick when the piston updates all the blocks around it. 
but um, this additional line that I put in right here will force an update and that's going to cause this wire to connect to this one at the same exact same time that the piston expands and so when we turn uh, when we turn the, the, the lever on now you can see the the signal is four ticks into each uh, each set of repeaters so now we have instant on both edges I'll show you again yep so uh, this is the entire repeater uh, you don't actually need this right here uh, the input does have to come out of um, this block right here if you take away this thing um, and depower it uh, oh that's actually yeah that was a different design never mind um, but the different design I had you had to have the output coming here but uh, looks like it actually will work either here or here probably um, so that's the instant repeater. So yeah, again, this is a this is a completely new technique that I've never seen before, uh, that where you force the update on the piston extending. I don't think anyone has ever gotten any instant uh, instant effects with a piston expanding. So that's what allows that's what allows us to use a single piston for an instant repeater. Um, the knock gate is is really similar. So let me go ahead and build the same four lines here. Um, I am going to have a repeater set to two takes here. Okay, sorry, let me build the piston. Uh, so the piston is going to go right here. This piston's right here. Um, I am going to build a. Uh, so the, 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 the always on repeater is going to go on the near side this time. Last time the always on repeater, this one was on the far side when the, where the piston gets extended. So now it's on the near side. So it's powering the block when the piston is retracted. Um, and then, uh, I've done this wrong, this goes right to here. Okay, set that to two ticks. Um, and then this just comes around right here. So now we have. Uh, the same basic thing, except it's not going to update on the piston extension. So you can see, let's add the uh, let's add the repeaters in, so we can see what's going on. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So when the piston extends, you can see there's a one tick delay. We have three on the left, two on the right. When the piston retracts, though, it is instantaneous. So uh, we just need to add the the uh, update line right here. And now, when the piston expands, we have the same delay on each side, and same thing when it retracts. So, um, I've tested this in all all four directions. Uh, flipping it, like uh, mirror imaging, it works perfectly. Um, one of the great benefits of this versus my uh, my initial instant wire repeater and knock gate is that. Uh, well, first of all, you can cycle this a little faster. So, um, let me see. Right here, we see uh, a two tick, um, even a, a two tick uh, switch can can be handled with this thing. Um, although, I think it's actually, oh yeah, so there are problems sometimes with two ticks. That, that's what I was seeing before. Um, that you see on the on the first edge, it got it, but on the second edge, uh, there was a one tick delay, but three ticks works just fine. Yeah, there we go, got a three tick delay. So that works fine. So as long as you're not cycling uh, faster than three ticks, it'll be instantaneous. But moreover, um, if you would cycle it really fast, uh, the the old version would get out of sync and you would have a, a bad state. In this, With this one though, all that happens is just, the signal just gets there a little later. So if I have like a little like two tick pulse here, it's just going to get there a little later. So it doesn't doesn't break anything. It's much smaller, obviously. Um, doesn't rely on block update detectors anymore, which which is nice. Um, I actually got a chance to uh, meet Jeb today at PAX and played Play 1.8, and they did not fix block update detectors, uh, the the glitch that allows those. But um, uh, Jeb also didn't seem to to mind the the glitches. So. 
Um, but still, if they do eventually fix that glitch, I don't think they're going to fix this this stuff because it's uh, it's kind of the way it's built into the game. It would just be really hard to fix. But um, yeah, this is this is really a much better version of Instant Wire. I, I'm not sure how much more this can be compressed, but um, this should be actually much better uh, for circuits as well, because if you have, let me just show you real quick, if you have um, instantaneous changes between, um, sorry, let me just get this all set up. If you have instantaneous changes, it'll, it'll cause an update sometimes. Um, and let me just show you what I mean. So if I put a, uh, a lever here, see, uh, even though the, the, there's a one tick delay on each end, uh, and the signal gets to the piston at the same time, it still causes the piston to retract. So that's pretty bad for my old style instant wire, uh, because any update would cause it to get into a bad state. But in, in the, with the new stuff, it's it's not gonna happen quite like that. Um, so it it may it may actually cause the piston to retract and send a signal, but it's not at least it's not gonna get into a bad state. So um, yeah, hopefully somebody can make good use of this. It's it's, it's a lot smaller, and, and a lot of people are asking for a much smaller uh, repeater and knock gate. So. Here you go. Thanks for watching.